Well, let's go to John. He's a Man United fan. Hello, John. Evening, Jason. Evening, Andy. How you doing? All right, John boy. Good, John. How are you? Yeah, not, yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad. Uh, what's up, Dan? It's all good. Life goes on. Oh, um, no, just about, though, Dan. It's a close call. I mean, what are they doing? <laughs> Well, they need to pull oh, their no. finger out, these WhatsAppers. They, they, they need to hit the re- reset button, I yeah. think. I don't know what it's Take the plug out doing, and turn but... the power back on. John, John, how annoyed would you be if when WhatsApp comes back, you don't get one WhatsApp? It's like no one's text you. The normal one, normal Monday night, mate. Oh. Honest, no, mate okay. like, I'd be like, devastated if that. Honestly, Tuesday. I'd be devastated. It's going to ruin my night. <laughs> if, if, I, if I hear WhatsApp's on before I get a text, I'll be like, oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Likewise, likewise. Fine, but, um, <laughs> yeah, guys, so I, I was at the game. I was at Old Trafford on on, on uh, Saturday. You know, first time up there in a while since kind of post-COVID. But I'm to see Ronaldo. And on, on the train up, I go to my mate. He's on the bench. I'm like, what? So that, that, that wasn't a great start. But I just got the sense... Even after the game, during the game, you, you know when you see social media and, you know, you, you're not, you're not, you can't even put anything on Twitter now. Like, they were congratulating Martial, it's great he's on the score sheet. You just look at comments, it's like, Ollie out, Ollie out. I just sense a, tur- a, a sort of a bit of a turn this weekend. And I'm a big Ollie fan, mm. you know, love Ollie, he's a United legend. I just get some of the decisions and Jason, I kind of hate to admit it, I agree with you, I've listened to you over the few weeks. Is he an elite man? Is he going to win or something? Now, he's done a great job getting us this far, he's steadied the ship, but... I mean, I was more annoyed, actually, that you rested Pogba. As soon as Pogba came on, he completely changed the game, I think. I think he's, he's absolute class. But, you know, we're in October. There's the international break. Why is he resting Ronaldo now? I don't know. But send, send him to Portugal, absolutely knackered. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. But the problem is, you know, what are you guys? I mean, they're not going to sack him. You've got to back him. But I, you know, I, well, I was saying, It's funny you say that about the international break. I said, as I walked in today or tonight, I said to Jay, that's the, the biggest mystery is when you've got a week and a half, two weeks off, why are you not playing your strongest side? And I can never understand any manager that doesn't play his strongest side. But it's not just the fact that United had a weak inside out. What does that do mentally for Everton when they look at the team sheet and they see no Ronaldo, no Sancho, no Pogba? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that the, the bigger problem I have, and I, I don't know whether Oli's strong enough. So, I mean, what, I don't know what his reasons were. You know, you know Ronaldo needs to rest, whatever. But you've got Rashford coming back. Sancho needs get Sancho. You know, obviously needs game time. There's going to be a lot of players. We just need to just have. I think week after week, pick an eleven and don't change it for six weeks. Obviously, going to be injuries and changes. But I don't know what. I don't think he knows what his best eleven is. And you look at the running fixtures and you think, bloody hell, this is going to be. You know, it's kind of make or break kind of how the season's going to shape. So you know, it'll be interesting what happens. But I just got a sense that the crowd was kind of turning. Um, and as I say, you know, in six weeks' time, we're going to be sitting there thinking, you know. You know how our season's going to pan out ultimately. Have you seen the, the run of fixtures you know they've got coming up? I have, yeah. yeah they're, they're horrible. They're horrible. The, the problem is though, and you know, he always it always comes to a crunch time, but he always seems just to do enough. You know, we raise it for the big games, and everyone's up for it. So he might surprise us, but the reality is we're not playing as a team. It's just we're relying on individuals just to come up with some brilliance. Um, and then with Tommy and Fred, I mean. I like McTominay. He's a young. I think he's a you know, young guy. You've got to give him time. But Fred, you know, he's got a lot of stick. Mm. He isn't good enough. Um, but you know, it, 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 ultimately, I think we'll, we'll fall short this year. But I think we need to challenge. But ultimately, top four isn't really good enough. I think. Um, and ultimately, it'll be interesting to see. I always get asked, well, who would you get in? And the, you know, the obvious choice kind of Conte, Zidane, but. You know, the problem is they're not going to sack him. They're going to back him. And, you know, the, the best measure stick I always use, right, is I've got Chelsea fans, City fans all giving me stick. They were all in. He's got to stay. So, you know, that that's the measuring stick. I mean, I don't know. What do you boys think? Um, LinkedIn's down as well. Is it down as yeah, well? LinkedIn's down as Everything's well. Everything's going down. Wireless is working. Okay, uh, United's yeah. next fixtures, Leicester, Atalanta, yeah. Liverpool, Spurs, Atalanta, Man City. Yeah, they're tough games on play. Leicester, Leicester's... You know, they're not going for a great I, run themselves. I know, but they're... That's, Atalanta at home. But right. hold on, go back to Leicester. That game United have got to get something out of, and I don't think it draws enough. Maybe. Maybe. I'm going, you know, going to Leicester and picking up a draw is never a bad point. It's not. It's not a bad point. It's, it's it, not, but it, it is it, when, on, on the, the back of yes, nearly that's, losing to that's, Everton. That's, yes. And again, with the two last games, Villa and Everton, you dropped four, four, five points yeah. in that time. Yeah. You can't afford to drop another seven. Yeah. And, you know, that... that that then starts to build and it starts to feel as though where's the next victory coming from? Liverpool at home, well. Spurs away, they found, a, you know, they play well. There is a tough, there's a tough run there. Tough run and the Atalanta one is enormous as well. As well. Yeah.